Aloha! Top of the morning, Fancy family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Got an exciting day. If you look at my buddy Matt's in town. I say hey. hi, Matt. Hi, hi, Matt. Matt's got an important message, you guys. Mess. <clears throat> Matt has an important message for you guys at the end of this video. Take two. Very important. I <laughs> Don't tell people how many takes I've been taking. <laughs> Not fair. I why is my thing going to try and break on me? Don't break on me, thing. I thought I just fixed it. Oh, serious right now? Look. Oh, my. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, my God. It popped. Okay, well, aside from my camera tripod just breaking, we've got an exciting day for you today. I am doing my first reptile educational presentation since COVID. That's how we feel about it. Yep. <laughs> and I just can't wait to do it. It's going to be awesome. We've got some things to take care of around here first. I'm shipping a snake out today. First time shipping out a snake in a while because it's just been hectic in the shipping situation and a lot of catch up from the thing and I'm just paranoid about shipping. Maybe it can glue while I'm filming what I'm about to film. That's not a one-way fit all, it's just being weird. Move away from the wounds. You frighten me. You dirty drips. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, it's all good to do glue on the lens. <laughs> Why not? Yay! Snap, pop, crackle, rack. So this is the snake that we are shipping out. Oh my god, okay. So this is the snake that we're shipping. Where's the light right? So this, so this is the snake that we are shipping out. This is Cinnamon Sunset. Going out to my buddy, Mr. Joe Ducos, who's used to be a, a native California here. Now he's moved. I don't know if I should tell people where he moved to. I don't know if he wants people to know that. But what you should know about Joe is that Joe is possibly the best Triple B customer ever. Not for, you know, obviously he's getting this, this higher end snake here, but just the way that Joe is as a person to do business with is like, if everybody did business like Joe, man, this would be such a wonderful world of business. Let me just say that. Let's say that. Joe gets discounts. Let's say that too. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate you, buddy. Would you care to film me cleaning large snakes? Of course. Hey! Our Mochino reticulated python, Beatrice. I almost forgot her name. She just shut up. She went a little crazy. Dude, <laughs> nice filming. Thank you. I saw that. That was looking good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally not used to having somebody follow me when I'm on the camera. It's, I could get used to it real quick, man. I'd love to not have to film myself. Yeah. Masters of the universe! Hey! Look at that guy! Hey, Eli. What? What do you know? King Kong. What about King Kong? He's a giant ape and he has an axe. But in Kong, he doesn't have an axe and he has like a balloon on him. And also, he is a little more bigger and he catches on fire. And the one from Godzilla vs. King Kong catches on fire. And also, that's all I know. And break you, camera! Mom, we got enough stuff breaking around here today, but thanks for the extra help, though. <laughs> Self promotion. Shout out to Ed at CMC Reptiles, the best possible paper substrate you could ever get for your reptiles. Best. That's a massive turd right there. Healthy looking though. lot to do today, you gotta move quickly. We didn't have the weight on it, you know, just a little bit of flops of it. I heard excuses. 
All right, snakes are clean. Before we go and do the reptile show with the kids, we got to do something else. Ah, oh, yeah. you guys back here in a little bit. Time for the reptile show. I realize some of you probably asking yourself, like, how do you keep up such a grueling pace? Non-stop? Right there, baby. Right there. Eat it. Make it good. Let's go. Maybe not the best shirt for the kids. <laughs> This was exactly what we needed. Just something like that. That was that was perfect. Now we gotta go bring this snake over to FedEx and then we're gonna get back. Matt's gonna tell you his thing, what we talked about at the beginning of the video, and busy day! Busy day.
How many times a day do you do things for cinematic video? <laughs> Take 17! This guy needs so much help. <laughs> so much, so much. I need help too. What? With telling people about what I'm about to talk about. Oh. <laughs> So, I wanted to talk about this thing because, well, literally yesterday it showed up on my doorstep. It's not a thing, but a, a person. And this person, so nothing really comes up my driveway, right? Deer. The mailman. Sometimes. Yesterday, this person comes up my driveway, disheveled. Please help me, I'm being abused. I was like, oh my gosh, the young person. Calmed this person down, got him his place to sit, got him some water, tried to get him to, to breathe and then tell me what was going on. Some physical altercation with the parents. This person has been dealing with you know, mental health issues, uh, suicidal, uh, on medication, Xanax, uh, Seroquel, I think was, was one of them. And it was just something I wanted to talk about because I, I felt like I, she, this person, she, she, well, I'm not gonna obviously disclose anything personal about this person. It was a she, happened to be a girl. And she was just distraught and I just felt so bad for her and wanted to help and I'm not a health professional whatsoever. I have had experience actually getting people to take guns away from their head, literally, and get them to calm down and, and not go down that dark, dark road. So I know that I do have that capacity within me somehow even though I'm not professionally trained. However, I have limited experience about this type of situation. It seemed like it was going well, but then when the police and fire department arrived, it seemed like it kind of went back down, was going back down this path where this person had been there to the mental hospital, you know, at least six, six or seven times. And obviously it wasn't helping. And then when I was talking with the officers afterwards, I was like, you know what? And they even were open about talking about the fact that, yeah, it's not working. And we, that they have people here, you know, we got the state hospital here in town. So there's a higher per capita amount of people dealing with stuff like that in this area. It doesn't work. They, they, they're telling me about how many times they have people running through the system. Like sometimes up to 50 times they've had somebody like where they're just in and out like a revolving door. And I wanted Matt to talk about it with you guys because he knows a lot more. He's got a lot more experience in this and, and is actually helping people and does talks with people. So can, can you give us some insight a little bit? Maybe anybody sure, that's going I mean, through something like that. I mean, anyone who's really kind of going through uh, depression, it's, it's, a stark, it's a dark and scary road first I suffered for it from it myself um, so I've been giving talks to a couple of college baseball teams uh, just about recognizing it and kind of yourself and others for uh, for myself personally it took a long time for me to actually realize that I was in fact lying to myself when I was saying that I was truly happy it took a lot for me to actually figure out that I'm actually not happy I haven't experienced happiness in a long time and to give someone like kind of lamest terms of what it feels like to be depressed because not all of us you know we can we can understand not being happy we can but we can't understand what it's like to live day in day out go to bed and just not feel happiness and to give you an analogy of it is tr pretend like you're flying an airplane and now you're going through dark clouds for months years you start to get to the point where you don't feel like there are blue skies ahead of you right now someone who can, who's seen happiness before can tell you that you, there's going to be blue skies ahead and for those who are in that dark scary place it's going to be like there's nothing even there whatsoever now take away that you're in control of the plane now you're no longer in control and that's what it's kind of like to be in that depressive state where you feel like you have no control over how you feel your emotions anything like that well, you've had success. So the one th thing with this girl was that, you know, she's on Xanax and I don't think that even the officers are saying that it's just a Band-Aid. It's not really helping anything. Yeah. But you've had success with stuff and with, with yourself and helping people. So, like, what, what do you have to offer there? Like, obviously having the right person to talk to. Having the right person to talk to. So if you have, like, somebody, like, in your family, um, you know, I usually talk with, with players, so it's usually a coach or a teammate. But find yourself someone that you can talk to. It can be a close personal friend. Um even someone who's really someone you just kind of know offhand just talk to somebody and let them know like what you're feeling there are other things out there that i've recommend ketamine treatments um you know by all means please consult with your a doctor first i also recommend talking to a therapist as well just having someone to talk and just listen is probably the best thing that you can do and for someone who can listen to you openly and not tell you that they know exactly what you're feeling because 
for anyone who's suffering from depression, hearing those words is like daggers being, you know, taken at your heart. Because to us, to people who have this kind of like mindset, it's we don't believe that anyone can really truly understand what we're feeling. So just having that kind of open mindset and having someone to talk to is is the best thing that anyone can really offer. <laughs> On that note, we uh, also believe that whiskey helps. <laughs> <laughs> whiskey and weights too. Remember to lift those weights, guys. For anybody out there that's feeling like that, like when I saw that girl, I was just like, I do want, I do not want people to feel Mental like that. Mental health ever. is is something that's you know it's truly important to me, and I feel like you know there's not enough knowledge out there. So the more, you know, that we can actually reach people and, you know, get them to talk about it a little bit more openly, I think the better off everyone's going to be. And we can get people out of those loops of just going to the emergency room and being fed. Something to calm them down just throughout the day and the evening and then send them right back home because that's honestly not the best course of action. They need to actually have someone they can talk to on a weekly, daily basis. We're here for you, buddy. <laughs> Let's fill in the whiskey wimps. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Hopefully anything that you saw here helped you if you needed it. And maybe even if it's just the reptiles and the kids. That definitely does it for me. So, <laughs> All right, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Aloha. Uh, link for the whiskey rooms down in the description. We're going to film May right now. All of May. All of today. May. In the same day that we did all the other things we did. Can't believe it. Can you? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs>